guys remember my video called We're Going to Jail? Oh. Doing an updated version. While most of us try and be good law abiding citizens most of the time, we can be breaking the law without even knowing it. Yes, you can technically call yourself a small time criminal if you have ever put the pen. You're gonna be back. We're back. And. Most of us try. Wow, this. Wow. Oops. I have no idea what's happening. While most of us try and be good law abiding citizens most of the time, we can be breaking the law without even knowing it. Yes, you can technically call yourself a small time criminal if you have ever been involved in any of these illegal activities. Using a fake name online. So you're filling out an online registration form and you enter a fake name that makes you chuckle like Seymour Butts or Megan Cox and you don't really think much of it. After all, why should you give your real name to every single site you register with? But did you know that entering a fake name can get you arrested and charged with hacking? Computer fraud is a new fact today that when you give a... That makes no sense at all. Toss that empty wrapper on the ground. You're gonna need that. So watch out, you litter bugs, because in that case, by giving your friend your Netflix password so that she too can binge watch her life away, and while we do believe you are a nice person, you're actually cheating the system by paying for one account and allowing access to multiple users. Maybe we can forgive you for giving the password to a close family member, but don't go spreading it around too much or you'll attract suspicion. Netflix has begun to find ways to stop people from password sharing. Sometimes, if there are too many people trying to access one account, Netflix will say it's currently unavailable. This is definitely one instance where sharing is not caring, but stealing. Not claiming your eBay earnings. eBay is a fun online place to make money off items lying around. You know it's backwards of you. And if you do your research and play your cards right, you can make quite the fruitful income. But selling on eBay works like a virtual store. Therefore, it is considered a business transaction between you and the buyer. This is why, just like any job, you must claim your eBay earnings at the end of every year. Not doing so is considered tax evasion. This law isn't strictly followed because people don't think of selling something on eBay as being real income that needs to be claimed. If you are one of these people, we're just warning you, don't be surprised if a tax man shows up on your doorstep. Oh. Writing disturbing materials. Marker. Is it? Okay. See you guys later. Bye. Peace.